Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Jimmy here, back with another video, and today my friends, we have some amazing news. I know yesterday we talked about a 4K capable Switch, but this time it is being brought to us by the reputable source Bloomberg, and a slew of games to go with it, reports Engadget.com. So basically guys, everyone's wondering why Nintendo's been so quiet through 2020, and this is why guys. Apparently they've been working on a 4K Switch this entire time guys, and they're basically just letting games like Animal Crossing and everything just hold them for the rest of the year, so who knows if we even get this 3D collection at this point guys but nintendo is apparently in the business to try to overtake playstation and xbox guys because obviously they wouldn't be releasing this console early 2021 quarter one is what this is um providing here and it says that basically quarter one will be getting it with a bunch of games breath of the wild 2 metroid prime 4 all those goodies that you guys were waiting for this entire time could possibly and very may well actually come with it guys so that is very interesting to tell you the truth and i'm very much so hoping that this is true even though i know a lot of people are going to be sad about the fact that the switch is already out dated after three years oh my god it's the wii u all over again and yes it is but i'm hoping that it's going to be backwards compatible i hope it is a mid-cycle refresh and not a new generation if it is a new generation it should still be compatible with the older games guys so it basically will serve the purpose of a mid-cycle refresh guys but i don't really want to switch to at this point but i feel like 4k that sounds like a uh, complete indefinite upgrade too far to be just a mid-cycle refresh so i'm going to assume that this is definitely a switch to if this is true sony and microsoft have been showing off 4k consoles for about a year now teasing us with them and they'll be releasing them in november guys but nintendo as you guys know is usually behind on the hardware segment at least since the gamecube but i guess nintendo's trying to reclaim their throne now obviously we know this isn't going to be running 4k and handheld probably 1080p 100 fps or 60 fps i could even see this being 1080p 100 fps handheld and then 4k 60 on tv or just you know 60 fps all over the board still which would kind of suck because it means there's no evolution from the last switch to this one so i am hoping for a higher frames per second with this next switch because as a pc gamer and a console gamer i do feel it when the game drops to 14 frames per second but all i'm trying to say is that nintendo needs to get those couple little gripes i have with those things out of the way guys so that we can move on to an amazing console i hope that it is reliable i hope that it is durable and i hope that joy con drift is not a problem guys and that nobody's joy cons are drifting everybody's consoles are just working properly guys and that this is not a problem i know there's bound to be bugs there's bound to be something but it does not have to be equivalent of a red ring of death everybody it could just be a little problem and we could just pretty much move on from it but the thing is, is that nintendo is going to basically make this console how they want it so we won't know until it ultimately comes out or if this even happens you know we could be getting a new nintendo switch in like 2023 2024 but bowser did say we would not be seeing a nintendo switch revision this year guys but he never mentioned next year at all he literally said no new switch 2020 guys and that means to me that maybe 2021 is something to do with that guys I think a lot of people are forgetting that he did indeed say that guys but the thing is is that i do see this happening i find it reasonable so this is like a part two to the video i made literally yesterday guys and the thing is i want to thank each and every one of you guys watching these videos you guys have been supporting me so much lately i want to thank you all each individually thank you very much if you clicked on this video if you took time out of your day to listen to me rant about what i want to see in the next switch i thank you so much and i hope that you'll subscribe and stick around for more content thank you very much for your support jimmy out of here Peace.